Texas. Hey everybody and welcome back to Wacom Texas, the show where you dream past the part and we screencast some art. I'm here with Jay Myers and my name is Chris Kerr. I'm trying to make it look like I'm not moving. Yeah, I know, I, for a second there. Uh, welcome I back. Your, I thought your batteries ran out. So this is something that Chris is really good at and this is kind of new to me so I'm learning along with you guys. Uh, what are we doing today, Chris? We're going to show you how to make zines. Z-I-N-E-S. Um, zine is short for a European For a magazine. No, it's called fanzine. Oh. Yeah. I would have um, thought magazine. I didn't actually know that. No, I'm not kidding. What's it called? Um, you can buy a cellophane bags to put your zines in. It makes it look a little more professional. Oh, it's from a fanzine. Fanzine. Shortened to zine. Cool. All right, this is a zine that I made in 2008. It's called Last Face You'll Ever See. Uh, I'm not kidding you, Chris. That is actually a really good zine. Thank you. So it's black and white in color. So we're going to show you how to make drawings, and then um, we're not going to show them the photocopying, right? No, but we, we will. Go, we'll, cut. we'll go to a photocopy. We'll um, go to Kinko's. Store. Well, okay, we'll yeah, I'm sorry. Not, yeah, uh, not we'll a specific a brand store. photocopy store, and we'll come back. So we're going to cut it today, which we don't normally do. We'll cut and come back. So here's what the cover looks like before it's folded, and okay. then it just gets folded like 180. Okay. Now, we're working with a different size than you've got there, but... You want a strap stapler? A long arm stapler. We picked this up at an office store. Too bad we didn't do this in 3D. Yeah, we should have done that. And then here's another one called Cell Phone Drawings, a zine that I did actually last year. And now, how'd you... Those covers, you didn't... That's not yeah, uh, Xerox. Yeah, screen so. printed. Yeah, those, yeah. Are, those are really Both cool. Both the covers are screen printed. Uh, which we kind of got today. You did something for us. Yeah, so we we have some covers that... Um, got just regular 8.5 by 11 paper. Sorry. When it's folded, it's not 8.5 by 11. When it's folded, it's 8.5 by 5.5 inches. Um, okay, Chris. So I, I printed some um, covers, monoprinting. Now, now, just so you guys know, because I, I didn't see this before we started, but, you know, art's controversial sometimes. Yeah, midgets on crack cocaine. So crack midgets. I, I would do a lot. Okay. Oh, my God, 2014. That is offensive. Um, this one got printed backwards. No. This should be over here. It's about dwarves, etc. Um, stop laughing. Again. Yeah. Um, hell is real. Not like that. That's good. Yeah, there's actually a big billboard in Indiana that says hell is real. Oh. With, um, death over here. Now, like, again, I didn't print these, Mom, so you know, uh, and art is controversial, and this is not mine, but, uh, I do like the second one, how it, it's, it's, uh, sorry, Wilburness, and that's kind of funny, but, but I could use it without that first word. So these are the covers, so we're going to fold them in half for the zine. This one I thought was really good, uh, wait, because you told me about this one prior, which is mm -hmm. Shark in the Grass, and that's pretty cool, I like that. that was, it's going to be folded, so it's going to be kind of... Yeah, that wasn't actually my idea. That oh, was, this uh, is going to be, this is going to be, this is going to look clear to you guys. Yeah. Because it's on green, but... That was actually my nephew's idea. So it's going to look really sharks. messy. Sharks. What the heck? That... Alright, there's two things wrong with this, is the language, and also... I don't appreciate the, um... Oh, wow, it matches perfectly. Yeah, that's... <sighs> wow. Well, yeah, Jay's an amputee, so... we've so... got one that you don't get to see because it's green. It's going to be screened out of here, but... Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't think So it's that. just going to be like shark on invisible. In fact, I'm probably invisible, right? And all my head's just... Right. That's really stupid. Okay. Okay, so what we're using is acrylic... Don't use green on those. Okay, acrylic poster markers. And you just want to start drawing. So, Satan... Is gonna go. Now, I don't normally get a, a chance to draw. Is real. Can I use? I mean, this is insane. this is what you're using. Yeah, you can just doodle around. All right, cool. Um, and then one, once you get done with the doodling, then you go to a. And you said press down really hard. No, don't press down really hard. Yeah. Hard, yeah. hard, yeah. hard, yeah. hard, yeah. hard. Yeah. That thing's laughing. It'll bleed out. Um, then we'll go to the um, photocopy store and buy some photocopies and then put these suckers together. Today's episode is brought to you by the Wacom Texas channel. Okay, we're back. Hey everybody, now, we're do, back. These, do these have to be, I mean, are they narrative? Oh, what the heck, Chris? Are you serious, dude? <laughs> no, you just draw from the heart. You just draw what you That's what not you from the heart, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, yeah, just, art's controversial, folks. Yeah, you just I don't always appreciate it myself. 
Yeah. Uh, Chris seems to do whatever the heck he wants, regardless of what the studio asks him to do. Um, you so know, this is my disclaimer. New Hampshire has a motto, and it's like "live free or die." And I don't actually have never been to New Hampshire, but I support that motto. Um, yeah, fuck it. Just do what I do. What I want to do. What are you drawing over there? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Right on. Can I use that black real quick? A little, little, little guy in a cloud in a bottle. I'll use green. Here, no, take the black. Pick it. All right, you want to... Don't use green. Oh, yeah, that's right. I you can't use this. I'm going to hide this one. Yeah, hide that one. That's very confusing. So, you're already on to what page? Um, do you do front three. and back of each page? No, no, no. Just do one side like this. Because when we photocopy it, mm -hmm. then we'll do double-sided photocopies and then put it all together. And it's going to be a mystery confusing. mix of what is page one, two, three, and four. Um, if you know Quark or InDesign, uh, which is boring, you can um, actually run a script and you'll know which pages go where. I don't like to do that though. I think it's more fun to have a hodgepodge of, um, of pages. All right, keep in mind when you're drawing, it's, it's okay to have fun, but you want to remember complementary colors. Um, so yellow and purple is complementary. Green and red is complementary. Blue and orange is complementary. Then there's also split tertiary colors. So I don't know what those are, but you lost me there. Yeah, you could um, you could check your color wheel. <clears throat> um, I tend to I tend to find that drugs are always funny. So um, so you could draw stuff about drugs and sex and rock and roll. Um, and people tend to like that. It tends to sell a little. A little better. I wouldn't buy it, so I wouldn't. I would not say it sells. Cause... Yeah, well, I I stand by what I said. So, all right, I'm still working away. Dope head is another page. And I'm just gonna keep on drawing here. Dry it up. <clears throat> what are you drawing? I don't know. It's kind of no idea. Lips. Kind of creative. Just I'm getting. I'm just kind of going with it, you know. Oh, Chris! Oh. <laughs> what? I'm just having a good time here. <clears throat> I don't appreciate it. You know, we've been doing this show for quite a while, and you know that I don't like that. And you just do it anyways to get my goat. To get your goat? It's an expression. All right. How many pages does this have to be? How, how long are zines typically, Chris? Oh my gosh! Titty fun. Um, well, okay, so if you draw four pages, you're gonna get one, two, three, four, 16 pages. So this is already an, hold on, let me get this here. This is already a one, two, three, four page zine. You don't have here. to show that image. Show oh, a different sorry, image. Show it again. All right. Um, this, we should probably pick up the pace, right? Yeah, we should definitely pick up the pace. We're way far into it. In fact, uh, we I'm might just, just have to skip to yeah, photocopying right just away. Skip to, to, to photocopying. Fill it in, fill it in with some smiley faces, fill it in with some smiley faces, fill it in with some smiley faces. People like zines and smiley faces, at least it's happy, right? That's true. Um, I found that anytime you like draw something, put a snake tongue on it. Um, that tends to be a better seller. You would know what regular, sells if you know a if regular you face, um, Chris. You're drawing gross pictures. A regular with a lot of language. It. You know what? Um, um, if you guys like that kind of stuff, why don't you tweet us at Wakem TX and I'll, let's just find let's let the users tell us what you, what they like. Should you we go to the photocopy store? Yeah, we'll be right back. Uh, right, we're we'll going back. to a non-specific brand photocopy. Photocopy store. store. Alrighty, we're back from the non-specific. We're back from the Xerox photocopy store. store. Um, you'll notice that yeah. your originals, the colors a little better than the photocopies. There's only so much you can do. But with can the you tell? Can you guys tell? Tweet me now and let me know which one. This is the copy. This is the original. Okay, you want to take your. You can, <laughs> you can show a different image. You, you want to take your. No, I can't. It's got to be uh, sequential or whatever. Okay. All right, so you take it and then fold it over. But oh, wait, wait, let's see. Let's show them real quick. So the front and back. Oh, yeah, it's double sided. Double sided. Say that. So you fold it over. 
all pages uh, in, in order that you want. You want to take your cover, go ahead and fold that over. Try and use a cardstock. Try and splurge a little. No, I'm going to go ahead and pick my cover. I'm going to go with this one, even though I wouldn't use the language, but it's kind of funny with the finger. I admit, you know, my finger loss is pretty hilarious. Okay, so now um, I have it all ready to put together. I slide it in. And you need to take your strap stapler at this point. Oh, man, you did good with the screen, the print on this. Look, so it's finger on the front, 2014, and then the language and the words in the back. You want the cover up so the staple... Um, the sharp staple point. Show them what you're doing. Can you do that in the air? Um, not really. But here, I'll hold it now. So I did that, right? And then I get the staples on the inside the way I want it. Let me see. So now I have Hell is Real. And then as you flip through the double sided pages, it's all in order. Kind of a short zine, right, short cool. and sweet. Cool. So I did a lot of smiley faces in mine, which is kind of cool. Oh well, kind of boring though. People like smiley faces, you know. Yeah. It cheers them up. Oh, well, another one. Oh, look, that's smiles. A happy, happy pages. Pretty happy. And then you know. No idea where my finger went. No idea. <laughs> no idea who stole my. Who stole it? Finger. All right, that's how you make zines. Pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching. You're welcome. You are welcome. Wake on Texas. Texas.